Hi, I'm B. Welcome back to episode 15 of Wreck This Journal. If you've been following along, you know I'm using this book for art prompts and experimentation. The first pages that I'm working on today are pages 68 and 69. Place sticky things here. When I opened this book and I flipped through it initially, this was one of the pages that I had landed on and I knew immediately what I wanted to do. Um, I knew I wanted to find some sort of character stickers and I wanted to take these character stickers and then create like an environment for them and then stick them in the environment as stickers. So when I was shopping, I found these adorable panda stickers and I think they are just so cute. I thought these two panda stickers looked like they were dancing and so um, I really wanted to do like some sort of dancing disco like dance floor or whatever so that's what I focused on on this side I wanted to create a disco ball sticker for this um, and so I have a holographic sheet that overlay that I can put on top of whatever I draw so I drew a simple disco ball and then I added a holographic sheet on top and just gluing down the disco ball just how it was and since I'm going to be doing you know a disco party I wanted to use some more of that striping tape so I tried a couple different configurations and I decided just to have it kind of in the background just to give a hint of the reflection of like light bouncing off of <laughs> this disco ball or whatever or maybe like a streamer effect type thing either way it, it gives the the party vibes the sparkly party vibes I also wanted to add some of my butterfly confetti that I have and so I just put a bunch of glue down and I added it on there one thing I had to be careful of or just be aware of is that when I put glue on top of anything shiny like the disco ball or any of the stickers when the glue dries it dries matte so you can see it and so try to like clean up around the butterflies that are on the bears themselves or on the disco ball on this side over here I had a couple pandas left and some greenery and um, I came to the idea that it looked like they were ki it kind of looked like they were getting their picture taken so I was thinking like a couple different poses and then I realized they could all be sitting on like a VIP couch like they are too cool for school <laughs> obviously they're too cool to dance <laughs> um and so they're over here in the VIP lounge area with their like fancy plant divider or whatever <laughs> and I just I don't know I just thought that was funny it, it I don't know I just thought it was so cute because this one like obviously they're a bunch of nerds and they got into the VIP lounge by accident maybe or maybe they're just nerds that get VIP access I don't know <laughs> but the one in the middle She's uh, collecting the confetti <laughs> as it falls down. And then the other two, they're just, you know, chilling, eating their bamboo, just relaxing, no big deal. <laughs> and then the ones dancing, you know, some of them brought their bamboo with them. So they're like flying around while they're munching on their food, <laughs> their snacks and stuff. I don't know. These pages are very simple. I think the only way you could mess up a concept like this would be using clashing colors. As long as you have like colors that look good together. I you can't go wrong. <laughs> The next pages I'm working on today are pages 70 and 71. Pretend you are doodling on the back of an envelope while on the phone. Okay, so since the envelope is already drawn there, that obviously gives me four different sections. So I just want to do like four kind of cartoon doodles. And I have been obsessed with Ghost Kitten um, ever since I chalked her. And so she's trying to capture the ghosts and put them in a jar because she can see them. Other people can't. And so she's just like, I'm going to catch one so people know there's a ghost in this jar and and so that's what I decided to do for her the next character that I added was Namaste Mouse obviously Namaste Mouse is very zen so zen that he doesn't even have to walk anymore he just floats around everywhere <laughs> and there's always a rainbow above his head because he is just he is namaste zen <laughs> namaste mouse if there is a problem he will help you handle it in the most calm and peaceful way possible he's super cute and then after namaste mouse came leaping llama Obviously, Weeping Llama loves to leap over everything. Um, whenever she gets an excuse, she's leaping. She loves leaping because <laughs> she's a Leaping Llama. <laughs> How much alliteration can I fit in there? After Leaping Llama, I have Bun Bun. Bun Bun is a bunny who likes to bake. And Bun Bun seems to favor cinnamon rolls for baking, even though Bun Bun doesn't exactly like cinnamon rolls. But Bun Bun loves sharing cinnamon rolls with other people. Bun Bun is one of those people that looks like a cinnamon roll is a cinnamon roll. <laughs> Ghost Kitten looks like a cinnamon roll, but would kill you. <laughs> Yeah, and nobody else looks like they'll kill you and is a cinnamon roll. So all of my characters today look like cinnamon rolls. So. 
On the other side, I decided to freestyle it without any sort of planning. I was like, I will just actually doodle mindlessly. And it looked awful. (laughs) So then I covered it up with paint and I was like, white paint. It's kind of like white out. Nope. The white paint, you can still see through it. It was still very visible for me. Did not like that. So I took a page of computer paper and glued it on over the top. And then I decided to play it safe at that point. I was like, what's something easy and adorable that I can doodle? Of course, that's going to be rainbows. Rainbows are the easiest thing that you can doodle. You can't really mess it up. And so, and then of course, I love my little ghosties and they're super simple to draw. Like, and um, then I just added a bunch of hearts with the colors of the rainbow because obviously we want to keep the color scheme going here (laughs) and it was looking a little bit busy the rainbows and the ghosts needed a little bit more weight to them so I did add like kind of an under shadow to all of them just to give them a little bit more weight a little bit more presence my only regret I guess for this page is that Namaste Mouse has this beautiful like black and white design that contrasts really well with its rainbow and I wish that I had taken that pattern and like made a border around this page first or just something to add like that black and white contrast to this very pastel like rainbowy look because obviously that looks really well with namaste mouse and his like whole vibe going on over here but i still think the page looks really cute it looks like a really adorable wallpaper so we're just gonna go with it (laughs) and call it good because it's adorable I am so happy that when I came back from my little break that I was able to do some like really fun, easygoing pages that it wasn't anything too difficult or anything like that. So that way I did not feel, you know, sometimes you get overwhelmed and like these pages were not that. The pages that I worked on today were the best pages that I could have done because now I'm just, I'm hyped back up. I'm ready to do more Wreck This Journal content and just do more of these pages and it's going to be so much fun. I'll see you all next week. Bye.